Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 23. Inside this video session guys, we will start about modifying template files that is WooCommerce template overrides. If I back to browser, now here this is our front end page. So right now if I click on shop page, this is our WooCommerce shop page and these are the products actually what we have added in a, inside our previous video. As we, uh, as we can see that inside this, we are using the template called archive-product.php which is coming from WooCommerce folder and remember it's a plugin what we have installed inside previous video. So right now this is for the shop page which is using archive product.php this is a template and if I click on any of the product like only a single product so this is using single hyphen product.php it is also a template which is coming from WooCommerce plugin. So as we can see that the layout or the page design is not perfect it is totally distorted so if we want to fix this design or we want to actually provide our custom design our custom classes our custom classes of bootstrap so how can we implement our custom design so inside this video we will understand that is where we can find these files and how can we fix our design issue step by step so first of all let's find about this archive-product.php which is inside plugins, WooCommerce, templates and here is the file called archive-product.php. So if I back to editor, go inside our plugins folder and here inside this plugins folder, this is the WooCommerce folder what we have installed. Now open this folder, go inside this templates folder now next we need to go inside templates and inside these templates we will have the file called archive-product.php now if we search the file inside this folder and here is the file called archive-product.php so if i close this open this file press ctrl b to hide our sidebar and let's say that for now to test this file if i cut all the contents save this file without any content go inside front end reload this page and as we can see that layout is totally missing it means that we are landed on a perfect page of archive-product.php so if i paste the code again save these changes reload our front end and here is the layout now if you go to editor inside this file we can find that we have get header we have a do action it means that we are calling a action hook here we have a header section as well as here we have woocommerce product loop which is checking that if we have any products or not if suppose we have some products in our store so it is going to inside this loop and it is going to use while loop for displaying all the posts what we are seeing inside this page but let's say that if we have don't any product in our store so it will go and run inside this else block and simply this action hook will be implemented and let's say print something like no products found and right here inside this footer we have like WooCommerce after main content here we have let's say WooCommerce sidebar and get footer so simply this is the page actually we need to customize or override to implement our custom design custom functionality as well as to add our custom classes let's say that if we want to add some static message inside this and what i will do go inside header let's say that i am going to add a h1 tag and simply let's say here i am now if i save this change this is the static message what we have added inside this template go to our front end reload this page and as we can see that right here where we are but we want that if we want to add some bootstrap classes like like columns grid so we won't add this position like after this either breadcrumb or top of the breadcrumb so if i inspect this page click on inspect element go inside this and make some zoom of the elements and here as we can see that here we have a div id primary this is content area here we have a mean this is all about site content and inside this site content as we can see that here inside this we will have 
all the contents which is related with our all the products so this mean id mean means class site mean is going to contain all the products of this page as well as inside have we have another div with the site id called sidebar and this is what is displaying all about woocommerce sidebar so this is the sidebar which is controlled if you go at the footer this is by using this action hook now if i comment this go ahead and open a duplicate tab reload this page and at the footer we can see that sidebar is now missing it's because we have commented out all about the action hook called woocommerce sidebar so first of all what i think that actually go inside this deep concept of woocommerce customization first of all we need to understand about what is add action as well as do action what is the difference in between these two functions if you go to slide open a new tab let's say that the first question someone asked from you that is how can we define a action hook in wordpress so what will be the answer simply let's say that we are going to define a let's say sample function this is the function what we have created inside this function we have like some codes here now inside this how can we call this function simply we are going to use a wordpress function called add action here we can pass our action name so let's say that my action name and inside this we can pass our function name so simply copy the function passing it here and if suppose we want to attach a priority like execution of priority of this function simply we can pass here if we pass the maximum number of value here then it is going to less prior to execute it means if we pass zero value so it means that this function will will going to execute at the first priority means at the prior of the execution but when we pass something like 100 or 1000 it means that more is the value and less prior to execute the function so simply this is the syntax that how can we use action hook to run our function so simply this is our function and this is our action hook so question is that how can we run this action hook so by using do action function of wordpress we can execute our own custom hook simply let's say do action and inside this we need to pass the action name what we have created copy and paste so simply by adding this line something called do action this is the action hook is going to execute so while execution of this action hook it is going to call this function and this function will do all the logics all the code what we have created inside this parenthesis so simply if i write one line comment so here we are going to define action hook and here we are going to call action hook so simply if i back to editor inside this now from this code we understand that this is a kind of custom hook means of woocommerce which is going to execute inside this so if i commented this line it means that if we comment this line it means this action hook is not going to run so that's why the sidebar is going or hidden from this action now if i back to editor uncomment this line it means that we are going to execute this action hook called woocommerce sidebar and if we reload this page we will get all about the sidebar as well now inside this if we want to customize any piece of code let's say that i'm going to cut this static message from here and what i will do i want that after this header we will have our static message so save these changes go here and if we go at the top of this page reload here and here we are currently at the top of this breadcrumb so right now what we are doing for this static message in the same way we need to add our div or let's say custom classes of bootstrap to design or align the elements of this page but one more thing before template overriding or modifying the woocommerce templates if we want to customize any template of woocommerce like archive hyphen product check out or let's say something single product we don't do anything inside the plugins folder means 
as we know that we are using the current template inside from this plugin so this is a rule or better rule that actually if we want to customize or override we need to follow a template hierarchy for that we don't need to customize any files inside plugin this is not recommended why let's say that if suppose we have customized or override some of the files inside the plugins folder directly but when we update the WooCommerce plugin from WordPress repository or let's say that we have installed some updates of plugin from WordPress repository then it is going to clean all the codes it is going to remove all the codes what we have actually we have written inside these files so in WooCommerce we have a template hierarchy by following those hierarchy we can override about each of the files of WooCommerce as well as each action hook and each functionality. So let's see that how can we override our WooCommerce features without modifying the plugins file. Now let's see that if I go and remove this code from here. Now we are removing our static message so at the top of this command lines please study very carefully. Here it is written something this template can be overriding by copying it to your theme like custom theme. Inside custom theme we need to create a folder called WooCommerce and inside this this is the file actually we need to create. This is the file only for this template. If suppose we will have called single-product.php so inside WooCommerce folder we need to create that file as well. So what I will do press ctrl b go inside our themes folder go to our custom theme that is simple bootstrap theme this is the folder we are using so inside this folder we are going to create a folder called WooCommerce and this is the name simply copy that and if suppose I have misspelled the spelling so pasting it here this is the name now inside this simply what I will do I am to create this file so copy the file name because this is the file we want to overwrite so copy that go inside this folder create a new file and pasting it here remember if we want to customize any WooCommerce plugin then this is the hierarchy we need to follow first of all we need to create a WooCommerce folder inside our custom theme now right now as we can see that this is the template what we have created inside WooCommerce folder and this is from our like custom theme. Now if you go to front end reload this page and as we can see that there is no content and it's because that is inside this file like inside our custom theme WooCommerce and inside this archive product there is no content. It means that successfully we have modified the content or override our archive-product.php. Now what I will do if I copy all the contents from this plugin file and pasting inside this themes file go and reload this page and now we have all the contents. If I hover inside this template section now as you can see that this is archive-product.php is coming from our simple bootstrap theme. It means from custom theme now we are getting all about archive product page. So in case if suppose in future we will update all about our WooCommerce plugin or install some updates then it is not going to override our these files. It is going to update all about the plugin sub files so our code will be safe. So what I will do if we go inside this file close this file because we don't want to work over our plugin files. So what I will do if we go inside this get header let's say that declare h1 tag so simply welcome to custom template. Now save this change, go here, reload this page and this is our message and we are displaying all about the message from our custom template file. So simply guys step by step what we have seen inside this video we, we will go and add our bootstrap div classes to organize or let's say to display a proper layout for this products page from next videos.
So inside this video, we basically understood that is how can we override or modify our template files. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.